Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I've done a what I'm eating video, so uh, I've been doing a lot of minimalism videos and I still plan to do that, but I figured I'd give you a little idea of what I'm eating right now. It doesn't change a lot, but there's a little bit of changes here and there. So um, I just got done with work and I had a couple of these little mandarins as just a little pre-snack just to keep me going, but now I'm going to have my real breakfast. Uh, smoothie, of course, I have a smoothie for breakfast pretty much every day, and sometimes I have two. So here we have blueberries. I always have blueberries and um, some mango in most of mine because I really like the combination. But I have maybe a cup or two, cup and a half, two cups of blueberries, about a cup or a cup and a half of mango, and then I have just four organic dates. The dates right now are really good. They're really um, caramely and soft and uh, I have my raw plant powder which is not technically protein because it's not an isolate. It's not like it's just protein. There's a little bit of protein because when you dry plants and break them down they have natural protein in them and that's what it is. So it's not actually a protein powder. It's just a, let's see, just a meal called a meal replacement or raw meal but it's organic and again it's just plants so um, by Garden of Life and it's raw so it, the proteins aren't denatured and it's organic and um, again vegan gluten free dairy free soy free very important to be dairy free dairy is literally the worst thing you can consume it's probably the most carcinogenic um, food you can put into your body so um, stay away from dairy, cheese, milk, find alternatives. All right, um, so I, I put in like a quarter of a scoop this time, a little bit more than usual, and then I have two ginormous bananas, and that is my smoothie for today. And here is the finished product. I love putting blueberries or raspberries in it because I love the color. Um, speaking of color, usually I put a handful of spinach in there, um, but we're all out of spinach, so I'll probably go pick some up either today or tomorrow after work, pick up some spinach. I usually stop at the store right after work and pick up the odds and ends that I need. Um, so yeah, I love the color of this, so I like a lot of blueberries or raspberries. And I put about three-fourths of it with water. I find that when I have a lot of frozen fruit, because the blueberries and the mangoes were all frozen. I find that when I do that I have to put in a little extra water. Like I usually go right above where the frozen fruit ends. I just feel like it needs more otherwise it becomes um, too thick. I like it thick but it becomes too much for the blender to handle. And get some, get yourself some dates. Not the dried ones because I know there's some really cheap nasty dry crusty ones. You want to get the good organic ones that are in the refrigerated section and it will add a really nice sweetness and a lot of minerals to your smoothie. All right, it's lunchtime and I am eating salads again. I got away from salads for a while and I was just eating potatoes with romaine and hummus with sprouts. But this is basically just a different version of it. I love getting greens and potatoes in. So this is my salad. It looks pretty big. It is. Um, I try to make it into a meal. What I have is some organic spring mix, maybe four cups. And then I have organic romaine, a head of romaine. So a head of romaine, four or f I don't know, five, I don't know, cups of spring mix for different flavor. And then I baked a potato, actually I nuked a potato, a red potato to put on there to beef it up. Um, I have a little bit of, yes, regular dressing. I know it's horrible, but I do try to find, um, I have a light Catalina, which does not have high fructose corn syrup, so that is my main thing, so I can tell what all the ingredients are. I'd like to do something else, but I'm lazy, and this is the only way I will end up doing it. So I have a potato on there, a little bit of dressing, not a lot. I'm going to add a cup of black beans, which I also warmed up, because I like having a little bit of warm stuff on my salad. So now there's beans. And a red potato and I'm gonna take these pecans and I like to mash them up um, because then I get a little bit of pecan um, the whole thing instead of just getting like six or seven giant croutons in one bite Do -do -do. 
and then I'm going to just put that on top. Right there. Smush them up. Good enough. I'm going to get over here. And I just do that. That is it. So there's my salad. Um, yummy. Right, and here's the herbs I'm going to take. This is my second time today. I have the kidney and bladder tonic. The lymph node support, the kidney and bladder tonic capsule. This is three in a sense of four. And then here is lymphatic system tonic number two. They're all veggie caps. These two I usually add with fresh squeezed or fresh pressed orange juice, and then these are just capsules. And I also have um, a, do, 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 a stomach. A stomach one too. I only take that one once or twice a day, otherwise it's too strong. Yeah, this is my second time and I'll take it one more time tonight. One snack of six mandarin. Alright, here's our dinner. We're having some potato fries and burrito. And we're just waiting for the people who have bought our bedroom furniture off of Craigslist. Um, this is what we're eating. I might have something after this or more fries, but we'll see. But that is all for now. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So I just showed you a video of what I ate yesterday. Um, add on to that another plate of potatoes. And then I had about six mandarin oranges. And I think that's about it. We don't cook our potatoes on... With oil we just use parchment paper so no added oil there and here is a breakdown of everything that I ended up eating yesterday I'll show you how I pretty much got everything that I needed and it's really about how much of something so like my oranges one orange might not produce a lot but if you have a lot of oranges you end up getting a lot of the nutrients that you need and that's basically how it is for um, whole foods you don't necessarily need to eat one Thing to get everything you need. You just need to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and then you will get everything that you need. And I'll kind of give you a little rundown of what I mean by that. So here we go. Um, I consumed 2,500. I need about 21. At least that's what this says. And I'm just going to go off of, here's the major things. Fiber, I got over 300%. Iron, 188. Calcium, 110. Vitamin A, 3,000. C, 600. B112 and folate 407 or 407%. So I will just show some of the things that uh, people are concerned about. So, and the cool thing about here is that you can go over the percentage and it kind of tells you where you're actually getting it. So protein, um, I actually got the majority of my protein, 20% from potatoes. I had probably three potatoes yesterday and I got a lot of my protein there. Um, I also got some from the Garden of Life. I got 16% from lettuce, 16% from beans, 13% from the oranges. So, and if you go down, uh, you'll see where I'm getting all my protein. Some of it, like here, I'm getting a lot of this protein from bananas. And I only had two bananas yesterday. Uh, and if you just kind of keep going down, you can kind of see where you're getting all of your protein. Again, you don't, I'm getting 100 to 300% of all the different amino acids. So no problems there, no animal products at all, and you can get protein from fruit, just as long as you eat enough of it. Here we go. Calcium, so this is always a big one. Don't eat yogurt or dairy. This is one of the most carcinogenic things you can put in your body. Here, I got 30% of, er, of my calcium from oranges, and then a big chunk of it, 40% is just from greens, and then I got about 10% from dates, so again, and all of these things are giving you little bits. You don't, you know, you have 4%, 2%, but they all end up adding up. So everything is good there. Potassium, I have 200%. Most people don't even get it enough. About 98% of people are low in potassium or potassium deficient, and you need this for your metabolism and health. And I eat nothing but fruits and vegetables, and I only got about 200%. Think about the people who barely eat any fruits or vegetables, especially fruit. You're probably very low in potassium. Kind of low in selenium. I got it in tortillas, though, in my tortilla for my burrito and breadcrumbs. So somehow it's in, so it must be some kind of grain. It's in one of the grains. 
so that one might be one I have to kind of look at, but I still have 80%, so I'm not too worried about it. And then the other one, oops, I'm jumping around. Um, let's see, where is that? Okay, so my omega-3s, I don't eat any fish. I don't eat, um, take any capsules, but I did get 159% of my omega-3s. And that mostly came from the lettuce, 60%, but then I got 30% from blueberries. Yes, there's fat in fruit. Yes, there's fat in vegetables. Healthy fat, too, the right percentage. Um, mandarin, I got 12%, 10% from the beans. Not a lot, but just enough. And then here, where I got most of my omega-3s are, again, tortillas, blueberries. Um, so, and my, my daily intake changes. So sometimes I will get more omega-3s. I'll eat more nuts and, and whatnot. So I'm not too worried about that. It's good, though, to have a little bit more or the same amount of omega-6s. And here is probably pretty close. It's saying that I need only 1.7. And here it's saying I need like twice as much, which is true, 1 to 2. But you can also have 1 to 1, and you're still pretty healthy. This is the one most people are worried about. It's um, You need it, but you just don't need a lot of it. You just need enough of it. And the, mo the biggest problem is when you get too much of this. And this is what most people are getting. And I'm not eating a lot of processed foods. And again, all my vitamin Bs are covered. Even like the vitamin B. Let's see. Yeah, all of these are covered in lettuce and oranges. And prunes. Get in the message. Yeah, so all of those are covered. Vitamin D, getting from the sun or UV from tanning. And the other one that's a little bit off is vitamin E, which I'm getting about 80%. Um, and I think that's a lot of people are getting a little bit lower. So you just want to make sure you're consuming enough. I got 10% from the oranges, 10% from blueberries, and then the raw meal, which is basically just um, ground up plants. So it's just a high percentage of plants. And that's it, guys. So... This is what I'm getting to make sure that I'm getting all my vitamins, my minerals, my um, anti-inflammatory fats, and that is how I did it. Just a lot from oranges. Um, you don't need uh, any animal products. Again, it's not about what you're getting so much because if you're eating a whole foods, plant-based diet, you're basically going to be getting everything that you need. And the most important thing, though, is not getting what you don't need because that's the part that's going to get you in trouble. It's the high saturated fats, trans fats, cholesterols, antibiotics, hormones, chemicals, and a lot of those are compounded and most readily available in animal products. So you're not getting those. It's not, I mean, and we're getting a lot of anti um, antioxidants, which are cancer fighting, and animal products are cancer promoting. So um, yeah, pretty easy to get everything you need. If you guys have questions, let me know if you want to Check out Chronometer, and you can kind of see where you're getting everything, and that's it. I hope you guys all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.